each intersection is operating independently, servicing its own local traffic. So each intersection replans basically second by second. On average, the travel times are being reduced by 25%. Not so much because vehicles are moving faster, but they're stopping 30% fewer times. And when they were stopping, they were waiting or idling 40% of the time. Using a fuel consumption model, we figured that we were reducing emissions by about 20%. Carnegie Mellon has a very strong relationship with the city of Pittsburgh. The city of Pittsburgh, on their part, is very progressive. The city of Pittsburgh has plans to further expand the network to include 150 more intersections in the next two years. If you look at Pittsburgh, what you see is it's an urban lab. It's a place where research and development is happening within our public oh, land. Oh, 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 like moving oh, people around. Well, future mobility is going to be a function of all 